The math in CHL Group G heading into Wednesday's decider was simple. If Red Bull Salzburg could win in regulation over SA Bern, they would win the group, while any other result would see the Swiss pip the Austrians to the summit. An easier knockout stage draw seemed the winner's likely prize. And Red Bull got off to a decent start in the first period, but defensive mix up here in their own zone. Martin Steinock miscontrolling the puck, and Thomas Rufinak swooping to score. Steve Michalek beaten to his glove side. Rufinak's third of this year's CHL. Not quite sure what Red Bull was doing in their own zone, but Steinock certainly his mistake opening the door to Rufinak. And it was 1-0 for Bam. John Hughes later on setting up a chance on the doorstep and then getting the puck in front himself, poking at it a couple of times, but not able to get the biscuit into the basket past Leonardo Giannone. Duncan shot eventually falling to Hughes' skate. But Huff and Puff, though he might, he cannot blow the Baron House down. It was 1-0 for the Swiss after one. Second period, Michaelette coming into his zone as the Swiss trying to pressure. Just on Sherbe, the sharp angle backhander, but Michaelek should never be beat from there, and he wasn't. Later on, a chance developing for Duncan, dropping the puck back to Bobby Raymond to blast home. Raymond's first CHL goal this season. Hughes and Duncan, the assists. Giannone, not a clean sight line of that puck, but maybe just disturbed by Hughes' presence outside the crease. One won the score, and then Sherve trying his luck. Another near defensive breakdown, then the other end, Michael Schiekel in all alone, but Giannone reading the move to the forehand, making the save. Either team could have taken a 2-1 lead there in quick succession, but neither Sherve nor Schiekel up to the task. Into the third period, and late on, Bairn so close to getting the Point they needed to top the group, but Dustin Gaisley, the puck falling kindly to Alexander Rauchenwald, and the Iserina Salzburg fans go crazy. Watch the clever move of Rauchenwald right here. It's right next to the crease, then he just pops back, gains himself a yard of space, finds the puck, and beats Giannone blocker side. Red Bull, one last gasp, Almquist the pass, the shot, Sticking in the crease and loose as the buzzer sounds. Michael Lick survives. And Salzburg advances, topping Group G with 13 points. The head-to-head -head tiebreaker over S.A. Bern. They win in Salzburg 2-1.